Oh fuck, how do I want to do this series now? Um... Uh, this one! Boy howdy, it sure has been a while, hasn't it? So if you've been living under a rock, Overwatch just recently got its second new addition to the roster with a cute brown offense chick called Sombra and... Are you ready for this one? You might want to be sitting down. She's really, really bad. I know, Blizzard not being able to balance their game because they're a bunch of incompetent fucking retards who need their players to do all of the work for them? That's so unlike them! Now, don't you worry, my dear viewer, because despite her current state as a character, I, of course, have already mastered her and made her totally viable. And because I am so generous, I shall now pass on my wisdom down to you. So, grab your think pads and V for Vendetta masks, and let's go hack the planet. Let's start with the basics. Sombra is an assassin. She's built a stealth behind enemy lines, light up some squishies, kill some people at low health, and then safely teleport back to your beacon. That's all good and great, but there's just one problem. She can't really do that. Apparently, some jag over at Blizzard forgot to swap out Sombra's rubber bullets for real bullets, meaning that she does very, very little amounts of damage. So instead of being a glass cannon, she's more of a glass... That's it, she's just glass. Now, it does definitely help that you get 60 bullets per clip, and that might even things out if the spray wasn't worse than trying to take a piss after banging a chick. Here is the solution, though. What you want to do is initiate what I like to call Operation Venus Flytrap, okay? You just walk up to somebody, you act all nice and harmless, and then when they least expect it, pump them full of 60 bullets at once. This strategy is especially effective against Torbjorn players because, while they mean well, they're Torbjorn players. They aren't really the sharpest tools in the shed. Now, of course, the main gimmick of this character is that she can hack into other people and shut off their abilities, which is a neat concept, but most of the time you're just going to wind up hacking into health packs instead of other people. All right, prepare to get hacked. We're gonna, damn it. Okay, we're just gonna, damn it. We're gonna, damn it. We're gonna, damn it. This is why you mainly want to stick to health packs. Huh, that's strange. Well, it would appear that I'm not the only hacker in this game. I was unaware that they gave Farah such an interesting new ability. Yeah, so, um, here's this guy's name. Go ahead and do with it what you will, 120,000 subscribers. Oh, Ouija, he's not actually hacking, idiot. You know what I mean. Exploiting is still against the rules, so community, do your thing. The other main tools at Sombra's disposal is her E, which is a beacon that you can freely teleport back to within 20 seconds of it being down, and her shift, which makes you go stealthed and gives you a move speed boost. Gotta give it to you, Blizzard. I'm honestly surprised that you didn't jump the shark sooner by adding stealth mechanics, so, uh... Way to go, guys. Way to go. By using both of these abilities in tandem, you can set up in one room with a hacked health pack, put your beacon on top of it, stealth in behind enemy lines, harass until you're on one health, and then nope the fuck out of there. Basically, this entire strategy is just like a drive-by shoops. I forgot that Sombra's Mexican. Can't say anything like that in today's political climate. Uh... Shit, let me try again. Sombra is a great, fun, inclusive, empowering character that is totally in no way at all pandering to any sort of demographic or agenda, I swear. Despite maybe not being the best offensive hero, there's no denying that her playstyle is an enjoyable change of pace to the rest of the cast. Sure, she's nowhere as good at harassing enemies as a tracer, nor does she come close to having the killing power of a Genji, but what she does bring to the table is diversity a new way to approach different situations. Is there a Reinhard who's making it hard to push because of his shield? Flank behind him and hack him for a brief opportunity to push. Don't try doing it again though, because any competent Reinhardt, or player in general for that matter, wouldn't allow themselves to get hacked more than once a game, but uh, 
Uh, you know what? The more I think about it, fuck it. Moral of the story is, if you want to have fun, you can play her. But if you want to win, just pick Tracer or Genji instead. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, and also, before we end this, don't you dare think for a second that I wasn't gonna roast this bitch on how much she looks like Mr. Fucking Electric from Shark Boy and Lava Girl! <laughs>